What's up, Brock Nation? We're here with another deck profile. We got Project Pat here. Hasn't given us a profile in five years, but we're gonna do one today. Dude sucks. So let's get into it. Shout out Crunchyroll Zach. Imagine it taking a pandemic for me to play this game again. I've been playing Frog Monarch since like 2014, 2013. This is my latest variant. This is the only deck I have any desire to play. Two Bomb Frosh. His effect is Hippity Hoppity. Three Rana de Imperfecto. Heart and Soul of the Frogs. His effect is Hippity Hoppity. True. And two Respeto Ronin, Ronin Toden, Edward Snowden. I used to. I've, I've gone back and forth between playing one and two, but since Toad became a card, you should play two. I really like two in this deck. And that's all I'm playing for the frogs. I wish I had room for more frogs because those cards rule, but that's all I have room for. That's that's seven frogs, six frogs, something like that. On to the tribute summon monsters. Three Caius, because he's pretty good. Just frog monarchs play three Caius. I like Caius. I don't know. Um... Two Ryza, it just because that's all I really have room for, and I think um, Caius is better than Ryus. And they, all five of them, are uh, targets for tenacity, which we will get into. But that's for the Monarchs, for the Fiends. Three Vanity. Vanity is really shuts down a lot of decks. You need to play three Vanities. Three Majesties, also not as good as Vanities, but you should play three of each. One win condition is one or two of those. Either one of those are both on the field with Monarch of the uh, March of the Monarchs. Neither of them can be targeted by card effects or destroyed by card effects. Then they can't special summon monsters or activate card of, uh, monster effects. That usually does it most of the time. That's it for the tribute summon monsters. No lad, no Mobius, no two tribute summons, too slow. Hand traps. Three Gores. Three Gores is not cloggy. Don't listen to anybody. I will be happy if I open with three Gores because I feel pretty safe. Gores rules. There's no reason not to play three. Big fan. Um, three Battle Fader. You definitely need three Battle Fader. That really protects you. Three Battle Fader. Three Ash. I just learned about this card recently because I haven't played since like 2016 or something. And I used to play three effect, but Ash need three. I've been arguing to play two. You can't play two. You need three Ash. Three Ash. Uh, three Storm Forth to tribute other people's monsters. I used to play this deck with Soul Exchange when this card didn't exist. I've been testing this. I played three, then I played two, then I played one for some reason. And now you need to play three Tenacity. For Tenacity, you can reveal uh, either Ryza or where are they? You can reveal either him. Or him, uh, a, a monster with 2,400 attack and 1,000 defense, add any Monarch spell or trap card to your hand. With that, you either add... More frogs. Bring them on. You either add March. I mean, you either add Stormforth or March. True. But three Tenacity. Yes, three Tenacity for sure. Uh, Three pot, that really gets you to stuff. Like you might be missing a frog, a hand trap, a monarch spell, or a tribute summon monster. You just, I don't know, three pot's great in this deck. It might be a scrub card, but it's good <laughs> in this deck. Two creature swap, I was playing three. Oh That's a card you can go anyway. <laughs> uh, two creature swap, I was playing three. I took a third one He's out. Three cards down the wrong way facing you. <laughs> I took a third creature swap out. For Foolish, I don't know why I wasn't running Foolish. As soon as I put Foolish in my deck, like a week ago, I opened it in the first uh, first two games. I opened it in the first two turns, and that helped me win the games. Definitely need to play. One March, I was playing two. I don't know. I'm thinking about taking out both the creature swaps, putting in a second March, and then a Fool. I mean, on an upstart. Because this card, Tribute Summon Monsters, cannot be targeted or destroyed by card effects. You can't special summon from your extra deck, but I hardly use my extra deck. That card on the field, with either this or this or all three of them, no monster effects, no special summoning, neither of these cards can be targeted. That locks out a lot of decks, and a lot of people aren't expecting that, except for my basement meta. True. All right. Get on to the extra deck. <clears throat> One Tadpole. True. All right, I wish I could play three, but one Toad, obviously. This next one's my win condition. It's really the only reason I play the deck. Three Cat Shark. 
need to play three Cat Shark. Uh, three Sky Cavalry. Three Gachi for protection. <laughs> two Degusto because I can't find my third. One Gauntlet Launcher. One Photon Strike uh, guy. And one of these <laughs> new blue cards that I don't know much about. And then one cute token for Gorus. True. And then uh, my extra deck is kind of not real. Your, si your side deck? My side deck is just kind of cards I'm testing. Royal Decree, sometimes, I don't know. I really, Jinzo's just fun to tech in there too. <laughs> if, you need to play, if you need to go against <laughs> traps. Uh, two Twin Twister, definitely that comes up. I'll, I'll side out my creature swaps for the Twin Twisters or the Royal Decree sometimes. Lad is a lot of fun, but two tributes, too slow. And then sometimes this other March. I wish I could play more frogs in my deck, but I, there's no room for them. And um, I'm still testing it though, but that's my latest version of uh, Frog Monarchs. I've been playing Frog Monarchs since like 2013. Stopped playing after 2016 or 2015. Back in it. I don't have um, much of a desire to play any other deck besides Cyber Dragons. So we got that coming soon then? Yeah, Cyber Dragon profile coming soon. I got an old one on the channel. Cyber Dragons, no wings. All right, Team Brock signing out. Leave a comment, subscribe. Yeah. Hit that